Thank you for watching or listening to This Is True Really News. And coming up today, a Boost Mobile store in Patterson, New Jersey was nearly boosted. Please like, subscribe, and follow This Is True Really News because, um, well, we'd because, like you to. Yeah, we because we asked and we were polite. We'd be forever in your debt. Of course, we Catch don't you know, pay off our debts. So. No, we've never paid a debt in our whole life. No. My wife does that. We owe a lot of people. <laughs> A lot of things. Yeah. If they ever find out where Scott's living in Blaine, he's a dead man. Yeah. <laughs> if, they, if they ever go through Princeton, Minnesota at 2006. <laughs> yeah, but they can't get up here. It's snowing now. 10th Avenue. What? It's snowing now. No, they'll never get there. Never find it. A little way. <laughs> no. Don't make me laugh. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. A Lithuanian potato chip. <laughs> I Hang didn't on. do anything. A Lithuanian potato chip company called Chaz. Chaz Chips. Apparently has just introduced a new limited edition flavor that's intended to cater to the sex-starved millennials. According to the Indy 100 report, the... Um, the P something, 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 Y flavor crisps will transport consumers to your, quote, wildest love adventures, your first real love, say reps for Chaz. The Chaz team is young, bold, and socially responsible, <laughs> if, if not that bright. And the snack is meant for those who are brave and free. Uh, who is the model for the taste test? I really don't want to know. Actually, I Maybe might want to know. <laughs> the company also suggests the chips can be a humorous gift or can initiate a romantic evening. Not with my wife. It I'm going to say they obviously haven't been in my house recently, <laughs> like in the last 40 and a half years. <laughs> Unfort and we've been married 41. So what does that tell you, kids? <laughs> Unfortunately, at this time, they're available only in Europe. Do you suppose they come in, you know, natural trimmed <laughs> i don't know I, I don't know can't go any no <laughs> yeah that's exactly you're blushing dude oh man well i'm just thinking about the the drapes no. the carpet and what yeah the yes thank you now they have to make something else for the cuffs Let's just that should have on. been the last story, really, shouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really should yeah. have been. Two armed yeah. men held up a Boost mobile store in Patterson, New Jersey the other day. Oh, wait, wait. By the way, if you have children, don't let them listen to that last story. <laughs> there we go. But that was a little late. <laughs> but instead of quickly... Well, hey, it's the same way that we can hold uh, anybody in the past for holding their view. We can hold them in the worst esteem, even yep. though they didn't know any better. That's true. Two armed men held up a Boost mobile store in Patterson, New Jersey the other day, but instead of quickly escaping with phones and cash, they got locked in. Well, that's not good. Manager Tommy Torres, who is an absolute hero and genius, thought quickly when the two burst in with a gun. He told them, take whatever you want. And while they were busy, he ran out the back door and into the travel agency next door, <laughs> came out the front and brought down the front gate. The robbers soon realized they were trapped and tried all sorts of tactics to escape. One of the thieves have seen on, on security camera lifting ceiling tiles. The two also tried using a fire extinguisher to get out through the basement. The surveillance footage even shows one pleading with people gathered outside Boost Mobile. Let me out. Yo, come on. To which a woman replied, I can't let you out. Cell phone video showed the crowd laughing and staring at the men. Robbers however, eventually managed to escape by dismantling a barred window. How long did a it take Shakespearean the window? To here? No, 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 not B-A-R-D, B-A-R-R-E-D. <laughs> it was a pirate I, window. I it was. <laughs> you gotta love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> President, do we talk about President Alexander Lukashenko of Belarus? Yes. The meeting at Constantine Palace? 
St. Petersburg? Where somebody died? No. Oh, no, no, he was there to present Russian President Putin oh. with a birthday gift. Nice. Did you know Putin's 70 years old? Well, did he give him some nice poison to fall on? No, that's the other way. Oh, okay. Yeah. So as a birthday gift, Lukashenko presented him with a gift certificate for a Belarusian tractor. Tractor is a rather large source of pride in that country's industrial realm. Lukashenko told reporters that he uses a similar model in his own garden. Putin, however, being a gra- gracious host, didn't even Golden. comment. Didn't even comment on the gift. Instead, he addressed issues such as conflicts between ex-Soviet nations, fighting terrorism, illegal drugs, and if if I were President Lush- Lukashenko, I'd be very, very careful. If someone approaches you and they're carrying a Biden umbrella, um, a pen, um, a Russian newspaper. Always wear bathroom shower clogs with grip. Always. You don't want to fall on the poison and die. That would be bad. The Flathead Beacon police blotter. Thank God some normalcy. 9.52 a.m. A dog wandered into a house and urinated in it. Well, it might piss off the owner, but I don't see it as being a 911 call. Sorry. Nine fifty, sorry. 9.52 a.m. Low-hanging fruit, I know. 9.52 a.m. An aggressive golden retriever could not be found by law enforcement. Maybe it was the same dog that went into the house. Didn't know I was supposed to be looking. 10.03 a.m. Four leashless dogs ran up a hill. Is this the start of a poem? It's, or a short kid's story? I, yeah. Just, what? These dogs ran up a hill. Were they fetching uh, something? A pail of water? No, that'd be Jack and Jill. Oh, okay. And don't be calling Jill a dog because there'll be lawsuits. Oh, God. 10, 12 a.m. Someone wanted to know about the legality of dumpster diving. So they called 911. <laughs> 10.29 a.m., a woman who owed someone $150 wrote a check to them for $500 and was upset that the excess was not returned to her. 911. <laughs> Once, Do you get the idea the Flathead County folks just have no concept of 911? Yeah. Oh, yeah. One seventeen p.m., a dirty car was speeding through the neighborhood and the slippery snake got away before someone could write down the license plate number. Well, you probably couldn't read it. It was all dirty. Well, yeah, right. And slippery. How do you know it was... Sl- Did you try to grab it? Didn't you? I'm just assuming it was an older American well, citizen. I'm guessing. You know, the Chaz chips seem more reasonable now. This is True Really News. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.